The Malchuyot section, which is found on pages 258 through 262 of the Gray Harlow Machsor, is the first of three special sections added to the Musaf on Rosh Hashanah since ancient times. Its theme is God's kingship and dominion over the entire universe. Like the other two sections, its centerpiece is a collection of ten verses from the Tanakh, the Jewish Bible, with each one mentioning the key word of that theme, here, Melech, king, or related form. The Talmud teaches us that we are required to recite these ten verses with three from the Torah, three from the writings in the form of verses from the Psalms, and three from the books of the prophets, closing with a final verse from the Torah. Interestingly, there are not four verses in the Torah that make reference to God's kingship. So one of the four is stretching the meaning of the verse, and the final one doesn't mention God's kingship at all, but is the words of the Shema, which are closely associated with our acceptance of God as the single supreme being of the entire universe. The introductory paragraph to this section is particularly famous, Alenu. While we recite Alenu at the end of nearly every service today, this only developed in the late Middle Ages. Alenu originated, probably in ancient times, as a prayer specifically for this part of the Rosh Hashanah service and has its own special solemn melody that distinguishes it from the one we now sing at the end of services. When we recite the words, V'yanachnu korim umishtachavim umodim, meaning, but we bend our knees and bow and give thanks, we revert to the ancient practice of kneeling and then prostrating ourselves all the way to the ground, showing our complete submissiveness to our sovereign. A less drastic bowing practice was adopted for the Alenu at the end of the service out of a desire to distinguish ourselves from the practices of other religions. At the very end of the Alenu that we sing daily, you will find the vestiges of its original purpose. As we sing, Arushem Yimloch Leolam Ba'ed, which is the first of the Malchu Yot verses, and Vahaya Adushem Lamelech Al Kol Haaretz, which is the ninth of the Malchu Yot verses. We will hear the special High Holiday version of Aleinu on Yom Kippur this year, but on Rosh Hashanah, in its original location, it will only be recited to ourselves. So we present in Cantor Gadia's video his rendition to set the tone for the excerpts from the Malchu Yot verses that will follow. After Alenu, you will first hear the final selection from the Psalms, Se'u Sha'arim, and then the verses from the Prophets, and finally, the final verse which comes from the Torah. <laughs> 